Good morning, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I have the, a treat today that I, you're, you're gonna get to see my real life friend, Miss Annie. I had planned to do this video uh, the week before I had surgery and we were kind of afraid that COVID, we didn't need to be so close together. But I'll have to share in a little bit just how long we've known each other and how God has placed us back together now. But she's with me in my kitchen today, and she's gonna share a recipe. This is my cookbook that she published. And it's a collection of family favorites, Miss Annie's. And this is gonna be a quick and easy snack that you're gonna love. And, and Annie is going to tell you how easy it is, and I'm gonna help her make it. And then while it's in the microwave, we'll talk some more. Okay, sounds good. All right, so what you need is just 12 cups of popped popcorn, which really means about two bags of microwave popcorn. And so we have them over here, and we have we took out all the kernels. So basically what I did is I popped the two bags, dumped it in one bowl, and then I just scooped it all up and moved it over to another bowl. And the kernels dropped through it. Right, so and that's the easiest way. Yes, that's we're for easy. Yes, all right. So then you just take one cup of brown sugar, and then, what is that? A quarter of a cup of white caro syrup. Okay. Let's see what's next, Mama says. An eighth a teaspoon of salt. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see that? An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Yes. And then one stick of real butter. And we use the same kind of real butter, yes. I see. <laughs> Walmart, great value. That's right. Okay. And that's all that we're going to start off with. There's two other ingredients, but we don't add that until the end. And her recipe says we're going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then we're going to stir it. 30 seconds is not long. But I met Miss Annie years ago. She has, it just looked like the most dream job that you would ever want to have. But I wasn't talented enough to do it. She goes into schools <clears throat> and elementary schools and she teaches a unit. It might be on um, space. It might be on clouds or uh, Indians. And she dresses as the character. Okay, I'm gonna have to stir yeah, this. I'm gonna have to stir this. Okay, I'm just gonna stir it. Oh yeah, this is, you know, anything with butter and brown sugar. Goodness gracious. Now we're going to put it in for two minutes and I can talk a little bit longer. <laughs> but she still does that. And uh, last February, Miss Annie had ordered one of my cookbooks and uh, she was watching me on Facebook and she sent me a message and she said, I'd love to meet you one day and I've got an idea for you. So we met for coffee and she said, I think you need some help with social media. Man, that was a God moment because I did. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the, that, it even goes farther. She introduced me to her friend and I met with her in the next month, Angela, who is a godsend, <laughs> uh, started doing my social media and things like that. Harold and I were still doing the mailing of the cookbooks and everything. But as you know, I was diagnosed with cancer in July. And from that day until now, the only cookbooks I personally ship out are the mail orders. And um, it I, I would have had to have stopped because there's no way I could have continued this 
Annie, Angela, and Melissa are three ladies who have done all of my cookbooks. Well, I encouraged Annie because she can do anything. Oh. Yes, she can. She is so good. She can. She would bring snacks to the teachers when she would uh, come to visit. And so um, I said, Annie, you need to do a cookbook. And she said, I don't think I can. Well, look here. Y'all, it's the same price as Mama Sue's. I got some. But anyway, um, I have to tell you more. <laughs> see, Annie, I talk too much. I, know, I love it. You don't talk too much, so we're going to stir that around again and see how it's bubbling. Mm -hmm. It's all bubbly in there. Okay. And then we need to do it one more time. All right, do I need to get that butter in there? Yeah. That little spoon? Yeah. Butter, we can't waste butter. No, we cannot. Okay, perfect. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay. But Annie and Angela and Melissa are working now getting out two sets of cookbooks. They have certain days or mornings and afternoons that they'll do mine and then they'll do Annie's. But, Annie put three of my recipes in her cookbook. I sure did. So, I'm going to have to, um, my volume two will be here in March. And I'm almost finished with it. But there will be a few of Annie's recipes in my new one also. Awesome. But, that's how, that's how our paths have, have crossed over the years. I mean, the recipe for the pumpkin bread that's in here. Right. That's what Miss Annie's known for. She would bring the teachers, let me show you. She, she brought Harold and me one today. Now, this is how she, she treats people. She's a giver. And this is absolutely the best that I've ever had. And it's in this cookbook. It is. That's right. And, and it, you don't just have to do pumpkin bread in the fall. It's good any time. <laughs> yeah. Any, any time. Yeah. But um, you never dreamed you'd have a cookbook, did you? No, I sure didn't. I didn't. But you have just inspired me. It's been such a blessing. Well, I will tell you that um, we are alike in one way. When I ordered my first order of cookbooks, I said, maybe I can sell 200. But... We saw the interest before they came in, and I did order a thousand. And Annie was the same way. She said, "I don't know. I'm 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 afraid to order too many." And she placed her first order, and they sold within a week. And a new order is coming in today. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Now we're going to add. We're going to add a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Okay. And it's going to look like a science experiment. It's going to start to bubble in just a second. And then we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Do we stir it afterwards? Yep. We need to stir it really good. Okay. okay. And we put in one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, okay. That's okay. okay. A lot. It's okay. okay. All right. Oh, yes. That's Look at that. Miss Annie, have you done a... I don't know what you could do with this. Okay. All right, so you stir that really good, and it's going to start to bubble up, Mama Sue. It did bubble. Okay, and it's going to keep on a little bit more. You're going to wait for it to kind of see how it's kind of doing that. Yes. It'll do it a little bit more. You want to stir it just a little bit more. Now? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know how. Okay. Want to All right. I'll I'll, go ahead and... Yeah, you want to put out the parchment paper? Yes. All right. Let's put that in. So you can see what that looks like. And then you just pour this over the top. And you just mix it up. And when we make this at my house, 
maybe some we can warm. We would always put it on the table when it was warm and just sit around the table and it, we would just gobble it up because it's so delicious all alone. Need another yeah, spoon. Yeah, right. Because it, it gets. Yeah. Oh, wow. You smell it? I do. <laughs> Well, this one is old. I collect wooden spoons, old wooden spoons, or butter paddles. These, and I use them. Okay. Yes. Um. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Oh, that looks so good. So good one. Our videographer Carol just got a piece in his. Mouth too. Oh my. Okay. And then once you get it all mixed up as good as you can, oh, goodness. then you just put it on your paper. Oh goodness. Yeah, I get that. And he says that the recipe calls for. Uh, in the book, it says you can now put this in the oven, but she says they don't do it at her house because they just eat it. You just eat it when it's warm. It's never made it to the oven because we just like it so much when it's just warm like this. And it stays kind of chewy and soft. Can I try it? Yes. Okay. I'm trying. Mm-mm-mm. Isn't that so good? So I love good. it. I can't talk now. But I will. Mm -mm -mm. This tastes like fiddle faddle hair. That's mm -hmm. his favorite. When we were traveling, he'll get a bottle. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so easy and it's so good. It's great for like family night or just sitting around the table on a Sunday oh, yeah. evening. It's perfect. It is delicious, and this was easy, so yeah. easy. But y'all, I want you to uh, to go. Where I'm going to put the link to Miss Annie's on my page, and you order your cookbook, y'all. Mother's Day's coming up. Oh yeah, sure is. Okay. Yeah. Tell how they can order the okay. link. Some <laughs> people, some people <laughs> don't. Tell how they can order Miss Annie. Tell them. Yes. So when it's posted on my Facebook page, there'll be a link there, and Mama Sue's gonna put it on her page also. Mm -hmm. But you can you can go to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen .com and there will be a spot for you. You'll, it'll be easy to find the cookbook. You yes. can go right there. And um, so. also, oh, you yeah. see our shirt. Our shirts. I can do hard things, and um, Annie has a story about those that. I think you have shared before, her husband had a massive stroke and things didn't look good for a long time. But through prayer and God's healing, he had therapy and, and there were times when he didn't think he could do it. Just like when I was taking chemo and I'd tell Harold, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. And he told him, I can do hard things. Mm -hmm. And that became their saying. And I love it. I have a shirt. Harold has a shirt. And it reminds us that we can do hard things. And y'all, be salt and light wherever you go. See our counts? We're twinning. We are. We <laughs> are. And um, I just want you to know that uh, we love you. I appreciate you following Annie. And I appreciate her and Angela and Melissa more than they'll ever know. Oh, well, we love you. Thank you. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Love you. <laughs>